Seattle for the day to have a date day and they completely renovated the ferry terminal. Maybe you get the tickets up here. This is all very new. We haven't been to Seattle in like over a year. It's enclosed, I guess, for weather reasons. Maybe people wait out here now. Oh, that's the Smith Tower right there. Whoa. Okay, so this is new. Yeah, look, it goes all the way down. The viaduct's completely gone. So that's the old passenger ferry terminal. Oh, I didn't realize they were completely tearing it down. It's completely torn down. Oh, let's do these. Let's do these. Wow. Yeah, this used to be where it was. Wow. This is new. Yeah, look, look how the far the bridge goes down. The bridge wraps around. Yeah. I like going there because it's here. I'm not drinking any beer. Yeah. Yeah. Building right here behind the sign is that historic hotel. Yeah. It's haunted. <laughs> they clean the gum wall off. Look at that, they clean the gum wall off. Interesting. That still smells almost like a old throw up scent. Yeah, they recently cleaned it off. Yeah. Look, there's nothing. No. Oh, well, it's starting to come back though. People are doing it. So we are here at Elliot's Bay, I think. We got the same thing, it's just I got a salad and some fries. What's the burger called again? Beyond Burger. Beyond Burger, that's what it is. Look into the past. Can you see it? Oh yeah. Ooh. I'm sweaty. Oh, so yeah, that's what it looked like. This used to be the tallest skyscraper west of the Mississippi. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. 1914 was its opening day, July 4th. Look, that's them building it, the middle workers. I'm sweaty. Yeah, from this jacket is warm. That, you know what, when I looked at this up, I didn't realize there was like so, like a interactive type of museum when you go through to go up. Herself, Seattle's first female mayor, haunts these halls. Whoa, well hello mayor. Oh, we have to go up. Ooh, Nate, take a picture with, um... Okay, so we're on the bottom of the Smith Tower Observatory, and look at these elevators. And then look at all these buttons you could go to to, I guess, call them, I don't know. But look how intricate, look at this, look at the design, and the marbling, and the old elevators. Look at that. Oh my god, Nate, go in there. I'm gonna take a picture. Nate, go in there. Hey, just let you know we're hovering close. Oh, I will let you know if it gets too busy. I've never been here though, so. Now you can say you have. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I like the little tour and the little self-guided tour. Yeah, the museum's got a lot of interesting stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We just put a new one in the elevator motor on the second floor. Oh, okay. Originally used for 104 years. Wow. All right, so we have here a very nice pina colada. And Nate got a basically spiked coffee and it tastes really good so 
we're just kind of biding our time until we have to go to the Mariners game. Um, it is very nice in here. I will show you in a second. But uh, you can see the observatory outside walking area is very narrow. Still though, I haven't drank in a very long time. And this is good. Look at this beautiful view. You can see the the cruise. I'm feeling this much. Really? My head's kind of Yeah. I felt like yeah, that's a little bit. Look at Seattle. Look, there's the Columbia Tower. You can go all the way to the top too for um, which is taller than the Space Needle. And all the way at the bottom is where we were when we got Proshkis last year when I was just pregnant with Ben. Um, oh, look at that vertigo. Everybody looks so small. Nate, why are you walking on the inside? <laughs> oh, there's the ferry docks. Yeah, that's pretty. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm gonna take a picture. So, if you are a Washington resident, you can actually come here for $12 a person, which is not bad. Otherwise, military 16 and then regular is 19. So, pretty cool, pretty cool. You get really nice views. You're basically on the edge of the building though, which you can see right here. Um, it's very narrow, but it's really pretty. I mean, really pretty. Nate and I are gonna walk over there past Century Field to T-Mobile Park to, um, Go see the game. Yeah. Starbucks Center built in 1912. These buildings, you guys, are so old. So it's the world headquarters. It's the world headquarters. I'm gonna try and zoom in on it. So let me zoom in on the Starbucks over here. I think you guys are starting to see it. There it is, right there. Bam, Starbucks, 1912 the building. Look at that stud muffin. The Pacific Tower. 1930 hospital for merchant marines and coast guard sailors like you said there it is there's century link right behind it's the new t-mobile park which also will have enchant seattle this holiday season if you are interested it is basically a big christmas maze and it is awesome harborview medical center that's part of it yeah oh so we're just looking because there's little things that tell you what you're looking at around here basically. Look at this just like old metal kind of wrapping around. T-Mobile customer, we're T-Mobile and we got to come in and skip the line. That is so cool. Thank you T-Mobile. Tell we are on 
the ferry. Look, you can see everything with a viaduct. Yeah, the viaduct's gone. Nate and I mostly just had a day to just, you know, adventure. So that's what we did. But from what I did feel, I hope you enjoyed seeing his face. Zooming in on your stud face. Ooh. Look at that stud. That is the studliest stud in all the land. Finn.